Hey everybody, Tracking Pat, and today we're gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can do with the Prototrack RMX to make things easier, especially when you have a job that comes back at a later date. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start out in here, I've actually got a piece part that everybody knows, which is our ballpark, we call it. And what I'm gonna do with that is I just open that program up. So even though it knows uh, that I made this part, I still have to assign the tools. So I'm gonna assign the drill bit as tool number one, and the end mill is tool number two. And there's my completed part. But what happens a lot of times is when I go to save a program, I'm actually able to save the program with the tool information and things like that, but sometimes I would like to have more information. So what I want to show you in here is if I go to the setup mode, there's two places in here, these two buttons. One says pictures and the other says notes. So first of all, you see when I select notes that I put in these boxes the information the operator needs to know about the part. So the first one I put in here that it's made out of 6061 aluminum flat stock. The second one I put in here that the block size is six by six by three eighths of an inch. And then the last one I just told them that part zero is the center of the piece part. So that can be very beneficial when somebody else is making the part who didn't originally produce it, right? Now if I push return in here, there's also a button that says pictures. And you'll see down at the bottom it says previous, next, and choose. So when I go to choose, what I basically did was took that part and I took a picture of it and took that JPEG file and put it on my USB stick. So you'll notice in here that it says ballpark.jpg. If I touch that and then say add it, it adds it into this program. And from there, if I push return, I can actually see what the piece part looks like. So now I can identify that this is what my part's gonna look like when it's completed, and I can also use those notes to see how it is. Now, if I've got multiple pictures because I have to see this part from different angles and things like that, that's where the previous and next go, and I can work my way through the different pictures to see and understand everything that's going on, okay? Once I'm done with all of that, when I go back to the program in and out mode and I say save file, then it's gonna tell me, hey, this file is already in there, but I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna overwrite that because I wanna add those pictures and notes to the file so the next time somebody opens it up, they have the completed process. So this is just one of those things that makes the Prototrack RMX a great control. It makes it easier for when you do a job that comes back at a later date, especially when multiple operators are using it. And hopefully now you understand exactly how to do that. Thanks a lot for watching and until I see you in the next video, keep on tracking.